Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. Today I'm doing a collab video with three other lovely YouTubers and we are doing an 80 kids movies themed nostalgia style collab and so we're all doing artwork from each movie and mine is The Labyrinth and I'm sketching out here uh, Ludo and Sarah from The Labyrinth but I'll talk a little bit more about my painting in a minute. First, I want to talk a little bit about the other ladies in this collab. So uh, I'm not really sure what movies they've chosen and I'm really keen to find out and to see which 80s movies they have gone with. Um, so the other ladies are uh, Beck from Cutest Voodoo and she does a lot of um, gory kind of artwork and illustrations and they're really, really cool. So and I'll leave a link to her channel in the description and to the others in the description as well. The next person that's also um, included in this collab is uh, Ella Personen and she does a lot of watercolour and gouache and acrylic work um, and she does all sorts of things. At the moment she's doing an A to Z of animals and I'm really enjoying it. I've just learnt about a new animal just recently that she had up on her channel. And then the last person that is also participating in today's collab is Sandy Gasket and she does a lot of uh, oceans and wave uh, paintings and they're absolutely gorgeous. Makes me want to go out and go and sit at the beach and just some beautiful sceneries. And all of these ladies are from Australia so uh, yeah go and check out their videos in, with the link in the description. I'm really keen to see what movies they're picked and um, can't wait to see the artwork that they've done for their movies. So onto my artwork, I uh, decided to do Ludo and Sarah. At the beginning I wanted to do Hoggle, I thought I might do a painting of Hoggle but then when I seen the reference image uh, that I'm using here, I just thought I absolutely have to do it. It was just really sweet and I really liked the character Ludo. Um, so that's kind of what I went to went with. I also considered maybe doing uh, the worm as well um, at the beginning of the movie. There's a little worm and he says hello um, and I really like him. And I've just recently re-watched it so I can talk a little bit about it. Um, it's, it's funny, I've seen it so many times. It's got David Bowie in it which I really like because I do like David Bowie's mu music and I think I also heard that there is a second one. They're doing a sequel coming out soon so I'm a little concerned about that. I'm not really sure how that'll go. Hopefully it's good, fingers crossed, but sometimes these things are just never quite live up to the original. Um, so I, with my painting here, I decided to uh, do the initial sketch and I sketched it out as you can see in the beginning. And then I went about trying to paint it in with some um, watercolour. So I, the first layer was really just kind of trying to get the colours down and then uh, going in with more detail. The face on this one for Sarah was really difficult. I don't think I got a likeness for Sarah um, from the movie. The actress that played Sarah was Jennifer Connelly. I don't think I got a likeness for her, but I still think it looks kind of like a cute little um, picture. And she still looks like she's kind of smiling, a little bit grimacing, but kind of smiling. But I still enjoyed painting this one. And Ludo was great fun to paint. He has so he's got that lovely big bushy fairy coat that um, is just yeah just luscious and so that was also fun to paint and I also really enjoyed painting his horns as well which is a strange thing but uh, yeah they, they were fun because I don't get to paint horns very often and I, I do like like fantasy creatures with horns and and that kind of thing I really do need to do more fantasy art I think I do much more realistic kind of stuff mainly um, but yeah I do enjoy fantasy art I'm just not always great with coming up with ideas so uh, some of the characters from the labyrinth are uh, Sididimus which is the little dog that also rides uh, another dog called Ambrosia and then you have Jareth who is the Goblin King and that is David Bowie and then you also have the doors that um, and the knockers one that's deaf and one that can't speak and uh, there is also um, the helping hands I remember the helping hands and that's fairly cool and also little baby Toby um, in his little striped pajamas when I was a little girl uh, uh, when I watched the labyrinth it used to scare the pants off of me particularly a few different scenes especially the one where the um, the guys were trying to 
take off her head. That terrified me for some reason. I didn't want, I thought, oh no, they're going to take her head off. And every time I watched it, I would get terrified of these guys that were trying to pull her head off. It was so scary to me. Obviously not anymore, but it's funny what you get scared of when you are a kid. I'd be interested to hear about what other movies scared you when you were a kid that you watched uh, and, and hear about those scary scenes that made you really scared when you're a kid but then when you watch the movie as an adult you thought oh that's not really even that scary at all and also what was your favorite kids movie growing up uh, leave that in the comments below. I have so many favorite movies. Uh, the, before I decided to do The Labyrinth, I was going to do The Neverending Story. I'm a sucker for 80s uh, kids movies. Um, and I also really liked the movie Drop Dead Fred. It's one of my favorites. I like Beetlejuice, even though it's kind of, I think it's M-rated. I don't think it's like a kids movie, but I really loved Beetlejuice when I was younger. Um, Tim Burton, it's just great. So the work that he does is is amazing as always so yeah Beetlejuice is a favorite um yeah I liked those ones with like kind of a, a darker creepy kind of feel and and the Jim Henson ones with the the puppets and the puppetry is just really cool I, I really enjoyed that as a kid and I think they hold up today as well so I'm actually drawing to an end with this painting I this is my gouache palette here and I just went over a few things um in the final piece so uh, his tooth at the front I accidentally painted over with black so I was trying to bring that back out and make it kind of a yellowy white because it was kind of a an off-white yellow kind of color and then just bringing in a few highlights and then uh, stroking in a bit of his fur to bring out a few um, parts of that as well and then I did something that I felt like was really brave because I wasn't sure whether or not it was the right thing to do and it was put this background on I ummed and ahed and I thought I don't want to ruin I was really happy with how it had turned out so far and I did not want to ruin it by putting on like a really dark background but in the end I think it actually really matches my piece really well and I gradiated it down from the top left corner down into them uh, in the actual original uh, reference image there was like a rim light on the top of them and I tried to capture that a little bit not quite but I did a little bit and so this is my final piece uh, I hope you really enjoyed this one I really enjoyed making it and make sure you go and check out the other lovely ladies who uh, participated in this collab I'm about to go and watch them as well once this goes live um, the links are in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.